hello family just coming to you with another quick video giving you an update on what's going on in my city when we're talking about mr corona and mrs virus okay giving you an update on wednesday uh april 8 2020 from atlantamagazine.com okay and their little correspondent or their journalist on this particular article is named myrid wells okay they titled their article, Atlanta's Latest Coronavirus Updates, Wednesday, April 8th. A quick roundup of what's happening in Metro Atlanta and what you may have missed, okay? On Tuesday, the mayor implemented new rules for the Beltline and new graphics uh, showed our national our national standings here's your wednesday morning update there are now 9156 confirmed covid-19 cases in georgia 1598 more than yesterday 348 people have died now my sidebar i'm pretty sure that uh, it's a lot larger, than, but you know, fake news, they're going to pretty much give you the lower end of everything to not make it look like our state is that bad. But in my eyes, it's pretty bad. And people are not really taking this uh, virus serious. They still are out there not wearing masks. They still congregate, you know, two or three or four people in a group. Um, they're still jogging, no masks, got children out there riding their bicycles no mask it's just like they don't get it until it happens to someone they knew or they loved or someone in their family then they get it but a lot of people here in atlanta they are just not getting it okay now going back to the article it said 54 more than yesterday 1899 have been hospitalized 33,785 tests have been conducted Georgia Department of Public Health gave us that information. The governor had extended Georgia's state of emergency originally set to expire on April 13th through May 13th. Critics have been calling on Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms to close the Atlanta, Black, Bat, uh, the Atlanta Belt Line after large crowds have routinely been spotted on the East Side Trail despite signs urging pedestrians to stay six feet apart and to keep moving. Yesterday afternoon the mayor announced new hours on the trail 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now to me that's still too late. If we have a curfew that we have to be in our houses at 9 a.m., why are we still allowing the belt line to be open till 10 p.m.? And that's not in this article. It's just my thoughts on it. Okay. Um. Again, it says yesterday afternoon the mayor announced new hours on trail 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. is meant to be for the elderly and those whose underlying conditions much like the hours of grocery stores have been implementing 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. will be reserved for exercisers uh, from 2 p.m. onward the trail is meant to be used for transit only and users are asked to avoid the trail if at all possible according to the AJC that's one of our news uh, newspaper outlets up here Atlanta Journal Constitution um, I'm going to call it Amnil Pharmaceuticals, a New Jersey-based generic pharmaceutical manufacturer, has 200,000 doses of hydrochloroquine sulfate to Georgia. Despite the fact that the drug, which is used to treat malaria, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis, have not been proven to be safe, or effective in the treatment of COVID-19. While President Trump has routinely talked up the drug, health experts including Dr. Kathleen Toomey, Georgia State Health Commissioner, has cautioned against using the drug for COVID-19 and warned that a rush on the drug could lead to shortages for patients who need it for other ailments. American Medical President and Atlanta physician Dr. Patrice Harris also said the risk of hydro uh, chloroquine um, currently outweighed any benefits. Zoo Atlanta is taking additional measures to protect Sparky and Chelsea, the zoo's two tigers, after a tiger at the Bronx Zoo tested positive for COVID-19. The zoo staff wears personal protective equipment when in proximity of all of the big cats and primates. The New York Times published new graphs showing the viruses spread across the U.S. And while the New York metro area has the most death, deaths national or nationwide, Albany, Georgia has the most deaths per 100,000 residents with 46 deaths 
per 100,000 residents. In contrast, New York has 25 deaths per 100,000 residents. The Atlanta metro area has 2.3 deaths per 100,000 residents. Another chart showed the Atlanta metropolitan statistical area. Atlanta Sandy Springs Alpharetta is 8th nationwide for total fatalities. Albany is 14th. Well, or with Delta cutting in flight meal services, the airline is donating excessive food to hospitals and food banks. With schools closed for the rest of the year, the state is gathering a map of public Wi-Fi spots for students who need internet access to do schoolwork, or for anyone else who might need internet access to do work or other essential responsibilities. Many of the facilities listed are libraries, which may be closed, but Wi-Fi may still be accessible from the parking lot. Okay, the Atlanta Be uh, Ballet has been hosting dance classes, many of them kid-friendly. Kid and then we had a commenter who wanted to comment after the uh, article was released. He said, idiots, as long as public women, idiots, as long as places of public congregation are open, this won't stop. Parks, churches, beaches, they all need to be shed down. Now, I totally agree with him because you don't necessarily have to go to church to praise the Lord. You can do it in your own home, in your own privacy, and, and get that praise on, okay? Uh, when it comes to congregating, you know, with family, it's time to Skype, y'all. Get on that phone, show your elderly parents, elderly cousins, or good friends how to use Skype. And it's just like if you were there sitting with them. Trust me, I've used it. I know. And I ain't going to even talk about these beaches and, and parks are being open. That's just ridiculous, okay? But like I said, nobody won't get it or everybody won't get it, it seems like. Or I wouldn't really say that. I'll just say some people, more majority people won't get it until something happens close to home to them or it's happening in their families that they will get it okay but that's just my little update that i wanted to share with my family to give you an idea of what i'm going through here in atlanta um and when i give you my personal opinions shit ain't changed you know we still got people out here working in non-essential jobs as well as essential jobs they're still congregating in the large masses even we go to walmart we still got a lot of people up in now you know what i'm saying more than 10 people it's a hell of a lot of people congregating in walmart Kroger, you know, any uh, necessity type place you need to be as far as going to the grocery store, um, going to get gas, if you're doing housework or construction on your house, you're coming in contact with the builders and the laborers that are working on your home. I mean, it's just like sometimes some areas and some facets of our, facets of our life, we're just not you know taking it serious but i have been taking it serious okay i sure hey ain't no more work gonna be gonna be done in on my house um uh, this year if it ain't you know if it, anything else keep coming where we're not um how you say reaching our peak and we're not really showing a real decrease in um the corona cases here in atlanta i definitely have um canceled some of our medical appointments me and my uh, mom until the latter part of the year and i'm talking october okay that's why i started i rescheduled scheduled our mammograms you know non-threatening tests that we know we need to have done in a timely manner but they're not like very pressing so yeah child i ain't fooling with that corona <laughs> okay but in essence i i really do think everybody kind of has it it just hasn't affected us because our immune system it's pretty much well intact. It's still focusing probably like 98, 99% um, for the good. And we start feeling ill, feeling fatiguish, you know, feeling kind of low um, in spirits as well as uh, mentally, not mentally, but medically. You know, if you get the common cold, you don't necessarily feel at your best spots or your best points. Uh, you go out there and food with that uh, pollen while trying to do some outdoor gardening or, you know, watering of the lawn or, or cutting your grass. You don't come in, you don't feel so healthy. So that's when your immune system 
is definitely breaking down and you can catch a lot more stuff uh out there in that atmosphere such as coronavirus if you don't pay attention to what you're doing on a daily basis but that's pretty much all i had guys want to update y'all y'all want to tell me in the comments what's happening you know in texas uh in hawaii canada um uh, shoot any any place any continent any country any state that i haven't mentioned in the past or now yeah get down in the comments let me know how y'all doing y'all still having that uh toilet paper and paper towel rush where you can't find none <laughs> we've been having meat lately not a vast amount but it's been better than what it was looking like when i first was going out like, there like the first two weeks when corona was hitting everybody hard yeah so i found a little spots here and there where i can go and get my meat okay but uh and bread and believe it or not some toiletries but i ain't gonna tell everybody because i don't want nobody knowing about my you know spot okay i'm just saying i'm keeping it real fam i'm keeping it real <laughs> it's me against them when it comes to me trying to get my toilet paper to wipe my behind as well as my paper towel when i don't want to be you know rubbing on my cloth towels or whatnot that i have around the house okay but that's all i got y'all enjoy y'all selves as much as you can under the situation of a pandemic explosion we have going on in our lives globally y'all be blessed y'all be good uh to one another and i will see y'all next video and thank you for uh coming to the channel as always visiting the house putting your comments down expressing yourself politely respectfully and it gains a lot of uh adoration for me for you all participating and engaging with me i really do uh, uh appreciate that but other than that y'all like comment subscribe and i will see y'all next video blessings you all